Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. Today, you can support my channel on Patreon so that I may buy more materials to do fascinating science demonstrations on. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period. And I thank you for your financial support. Watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there yourself and prospect for your own beautiful rocks and minerals. Today's demonstration is on the reaction of 30% hydrogen peroxide with a piece of organic leather and metallic lead. Now, in this demonstration, when I was preparing for it, I tried to order 50% hydrogen peroxide but I was not able to get it. I have 30% hydrogen peroxide and I'm hoping it's strong enough to do the reactions that I hope to display. Hydrogen peroxide that you buy at the pharmacy or grocery store is only 3%. And as you know, when you have a wound and you pour 3% hydrogen peroxide on it, it fizzes, it releases oxygen, it's an oxygen donor. It's a oxidizer and kills the dead flesh and bacteria. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. And I'm hoping it will perform the demonstrations even though it's not 50% hydrogen peroxide. So let's get to the demonstrations. This is the bottle of hydrogen peroxide, 30%. It's corrosive and a strong oxidizer. I'm going to take a piece of lead and put it inside this flask, this beaker. And I'm also going to take the organic leather and place the leather in this evaporating dish. Let's see what happens. I'm pouring the 30% hydrogen peroxide into the be beaker with the lead. Now I'm adding hydrogen peroxide to the leather. And let's watch what reacts. We'll wait. Nothing is happening yet, but let's wait.
Nothing is happening. Let's continue to wait. Nothing is happening. I should have used 50% hydrogen peroxide. What I was expecting was the leather, even though hydrogen peroxide is water-based, would have ignited into a flame. And the lead would have started reacting, producing a lot of fog or steam coming off and out of the beaker. When I was trying to find 50% hydrogen peroxide, I found a company that sold it from India, but they wanted to charge me for a whole carton of hydrogen peroxide bottles at $1,115. I didn't need that much hydrogen peroxide and I didn't need to spend that kind of money. So I got 30% instead to Carolina Scientific for one bottle. The bottle costs $49 to purchase. The bottle itself is only $12, but because it's considered a hazardous material, the shipping brought it up to $49. So the reaction never fails. I just didn't provide Mother Nature with the exact requirements to have her do what I wanted her to do. I should have used 50% hydrogen peroxide. But I hope you see how hydrogen peroxide can react with organic material and certain metals, even though it didn't show it on the demonstration. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down